Hello, and welcome to the reactor. Alrighty, today we're going to get to Mr. King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. And this particular tune is called The River, live at KEXP. Uh, KEXP has been a phenomenal uh, place for musicians to uh, have little mini concerts and uh, show off some uh, really cool, amazing um, talent with, with a space that is uh, a bit small. But uh, <clears throat> um, it, it just shows that uh, you don't need a lot of space and a lot of equipment to just sound fantastic. Um, so let's see what these guys can bring to the table. Um, I've heard of them, but I've never really listened to them. Uh, and I know they're super musicians and a great guitar player, but I've never seen them play live or anywhere else. Or I think I've listened to one of their songs way back when, but... It's out of my memory at this point. So, uh, all right, well, let's get to it and see what uh, the king and lizard can do. I gotta snip the ends off there, man, yeah, but drives me cuckoo. Oh. So uh, these guys are, uh, they got a love for some old school uh, equipment. Um, look at this 12 string electric guitar, man. That is a beautiful piece of, of uh, art right there. Uh, the Rickenbacker, um, the microphone he's using. I mean, it has rust on it. It's been around for probably 50, 60 years, um, probably found it in a, you know, an abandoned old studio in the middle of somewhere. Um, and, and the and drum kit was all duct taped together. And <laughs> so these guys really have an appreciation for, uh, an old school sound, um, and an appreciation for really that lost art of, uh, of just the, the way they used to build guitars and drum sets. I mean, they, they really, there's nothing like it anymore, um, except for when they do like the, the 20th or the 30th anniversary of this particular guitar or bass or whatever, you know, it's like, well, why don't you just start doing that like now <laughs> instead of waiting 30 years? 
Anyway, um, what a fantastic band. Uh, these guys have such a unique sound. It's, it's kind of, uh, they remind me a little bit of Frank Zappa. Um, Composition-wise, they're adding really interesting, um, like, progressive style, um, really complicated uh, chords, and, uh, and the voice is going up with, with some of the instruments, and, and the, the drum kit is, you know, really jazzy, and uh, with two drummers. Well, that is, that's, that's a new, that's, that's fantastic. I don't know how they don't step on each other's toes. All right, well, I'm sure they're talented enough. Floating down. Floating down. Floating down. Down, 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 down. got to say that the the uh the middle part of the song where usually there's some really cool solos and things like that they just really have such a cool way of using harmonics and 
one guy's holding the rhythm, the other guy's holding the lead, and then they switch off a little bit. But I don't know how, really, the, the, the sound of this 12 string is, huh, it is different. And uh, it's almost like you can't tell it's a 12 string, but there's, maybe just tunes it so close that uh, you can't really tell. Um, really weird. But awesome sounding. Without a love. a fantastic tune right there and the video player is seemingly screwy well we get to look at his big arm oh maybe not let's okay well all right <laughs> so, my computer's slowing down i don't know what's going on um what that was a that was a great tune so flowing down i mean this is a great tune to just jam out to uh obviously these guys are uh like a, a jam style band uh that they can just you know do this style just go out for hours and hours and just play these rhythms they're that type of band that can just kind of uh eh, you know jazz style you know you just kind of fill in you know you gotta you gotta you gotta measure you got some time in between and you just 
do something until the, the timings change. And then um, really awesome that they kept the, uh, the chorus of this song. They brought it back and then went on this weird outro. Um, completely different. It was like t two different songs. Um, but really awesome stuff. Uh, these guys are fantastic. And uh, to play in such a small little uh, little gig like this um, still sounded awesome. Um, two drummers, 12-string lead guitar, <laughs> um, some taped-up drum sets, and uh, some uh, ancient microphones, and uh, one guy just kind of humming in the background and playing the harmonica. Um, I'm I'm totally digging the sound. It's a, it's a very very unique, very different, um, but with s similar genres mixed in with like a jazz fusion rock um i mean they got some uh you know some zappa style uh, uh fish and, and grateful dead stuff and probably a bunch of other uh, influences that uh i'm sure have uh that are in their in their sound so uh really cool stuff all right well uh there was king gizzard and the lizard wizard let me know of other songs that you like from them, and uh, hope you enjoy, and until the next time, cheerio!